Hello, hello, my name is Denise. Welcome back to my humble abode. In the last couple of videos, I recommended some witchy games to you all with some like magic and stuff. And one of those games was Witch Book. So today I have a little bit of an update on what's been happening and what's been brewing with Witch Book that I would love to share with you all today. So let's go ahead and get started. So just as a quick refresher, Witch Book is an adorable life and farming coming of age adventure where you play as a witch in training at Witch Book College who is stepping into the role of resident witch to the bustling seaside town of Mossport. Discover long lost secrets, spells, and spirits while you explore the world on your broom. As you explore the world and attend Witchbrook College, you can make friends, find love, and help others along the way to graduation and beyond. Currently, Witchbrook is being developed by Chucklefish, which is a London-based indie developer and publisher who has published games such as Eastward, which is one of my personal favorites from them, amongst other games, and they are a no crunch game developer. So it has taken a bit longer to go ahead and develop Witchbook because they are taking care of their game developers. They also ran into a couple of issues while developing Witchbook, which kind of slowed down development as well. So originally, Witchbook was in a language called Rust, but the programmer who knew about Rust left. So they changed gears and started using a new engine that one of their developers, Amzertol, created. And that engine is called Halley. They use this engine on Wargrove and felt it was perfect for Witchbrook, so now they are currently using this new engine. For a bit of time, they shifted their focus back to Wargrove and Witchbrook started to be recoded. And somewhere around this time, the arch changed to what it was previously to now becoming in a more isometric art style. How much of the staff are working on Witchbook? At this time, most of the staff at Chucklefish are working on Witchbook, besides a couple of people on the publishing team. What platforms will Witchbook be available on? So as of right now, the only platform that Witchbook will be confirmed to release on is on the PC. However, I think it will be released on the Switch once everything is in place and Witchbook is ready to go, since a lot of their other games are already on the Switch. So what about the game updates? So very recently, Witchbook has come out with a new Steam page with a bunch of new updates about the game and what will be included in the game in terms of gameplay, customization, and so much more. According to the Steam page, you can graduate at the top of your class by developing your magic abilities, by attending classes, completing assignments, and earning badges at the Witchbrook College. But we are essentially college students and we can go ahead and practice our magical abilities around town. There are a bunch of things we can do in this game, which include mastering the magic magical art, brewing potions, challenging fellow classmates to a broom race, foraging for strange mushrooms, and using our knowledge of botany to grow all sorts of fauna and flora. So I think that's where the farming aspect kind of comes into play. I'm hoping that we can utilize all that fauna and flora in our potion making. Will there be romance? It is confirmed you can make friends and memories by going on romantic dates with a colorful cast of characters. And from the pictures, I've noticed that the cast of characters within this game is highly diverse and it is confirmed that you can have non-binary relationships as well. You can also unravel their unique stories, hopes, and dreams as you spend more time with each of your fellow classmates. As you continue to play this game, you can go ahead and shape the lives of your classmates, your peers, and just like everybody in this world and work together to find romance, which is a very exciting prospect for me. How are the customization features? You can also forge your own identity by expressing your aesthetic with customized clothing, hair, and accessories. And from the images that I've seen of this game, there's so many options with like the skin color, the hair options, with the accessories that you can utilize, as well as like whatever character you want to be. You can also renovate your cozy woodland cottage and transform the surrounding garden into a thriving habitat for plants and wildlife. So that is a very exciting prospect. I'm hoping that we can go ahead and buy furniture in order to fully customize our little cozy cottage to our preferences. Similar to Stardew Valley, each of the characters in this game, including your classmates, teachers, and townsfolk, will all have their own schedules that they'll follow. You'll also be able to join a bunch of festivities and seasonal events, as well as take part in special activities. Besides just going to classes all the time, you can also do a bunch of other things outside of class, such as photography and gardening, shopping and
looking at many of the boutiques offered in Mossport, going to cafes and seasonal markets. You can also go ahead and change up your look or try one of Olive's local delicacies and even adopt a plant at Wildflowers, which is a plant shop in Mossport. So similar to how it is in Stardew Valley where you don't really just quite finish the game, you can go ahead and continue the game even after you spend a hell of a long time in that game. The same thing is true with Witchbrook. Once you graduate college, you continue your postgraduate life and do a bunch of errands around town and perfect your skills as a witch. While hand delivering requested items to your neighbors. A graduate witch is always in demand with the townsfolk as they stated in the Steam page. Witchbrook doesn't currently have a confirmed release date, but so far a lot of people are speculating that it will be released mid to late 2023 or 2024 and beyond. Will there be a multiplayer mode in Witchbrook? Multiplayer mode in Witchbrook is confirmed. They are quietly working on how to achieve a fun gameplay experience for more than one player. And they're planning to go ahead and share more details about how this will work in the future, so stay tuned. I'm very excited for this multiplayer feature because Witchbrook seems like an absolute dream to play with some friends. Similar to how Stardew Valley is, I am just excited for this whole community to start up and play this game with my friends. Witchbrook is still in early development, which means that a lot of the details within this video might change. So I'll be making a new update video when I find out more information about Witchbrook. So make sure to go ahead and subscribe and like the video to let YouTube know that you like this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.